Hey, hello, welcome to the weather update. The rain has finally ended. We had a lot of light rain around today. Uh, but right now we finally have cleared out, trying to dry out 45 degrees in Farmingdale with mostly clear skies. So let's take a look at the latest rainfall totals, see what the updates are here. This is as of today. So uh, probably not much has changed from these numbers, but we're going to look at them anyway, uh, particularly in our area, because we do have more numbers to report. Uh, in New York. So in um, Nassau County, Levittown had the high amount there, 1.37 inches. Uh, and uh, as we head to the North Shore, a little less. You know, some of the, but then again, some there were some lower amounts on the South Shore too. Um, generally, everybody's pretty much within an inch to a quarter of an inch. And Suffolk County, a little bit more out there. Islip Terrace, 1.65. Patchogue, 1.63. So they got a little more rain out there in Suffolk County. Uh, however, uh, we have uh, <laughs> we have uh, more news in the tropics for you. That's what I really want to get to. Say hello to Tropical Storm Iota. Yes, that's the latest tropical storm that has formed. Uh, we also have Theta, uh, which is still hanging in there. Maximum sustained sustain winds 50 miles an hour. Minimum central brush 995 millibars. That's its location you see there. But let's get to Iota because this is going to be... This could be a strong storm uh, once it gets going. Uh, so, Iota is forecast to strengthen. Risk of dangerous winds, storm surge, and rainfall impacts in Central America beginning on Monday. As of 10 p.m., its location is 13.6 north, 74.2 west, about 350 miles south-southeast of Kingston, Jamaica, about 610 miles east of Cabo Gracias a Dios in the, on the Nicaragua and Honduras border. Maximum stain winds are 40 miles an hour. It's moving south-southwest at just 3 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars. That's 29.71 inches. And uh, the extent of the tropical storm force winds is 105 miles from the center. So let's take a look at the latest on IOTA. Yes, that's right. The next thing. <laughs> So this is Iota, and look at that. They have it becoming a major hurricane. This thing is going to explosively strengthen. Uh, and it's it's going to be another... I, I mean, this area, Honduras, Nicaragua, has been hit so many times. I mean, it's almost to the point of being, un, dare I say it, uninhabitable um, uh, over there. Because it's just, it's just, just crazy. Uh, so uh, we have yet another major disaster that is about to take place. Uh, um, so let's. I'm not even going to look at uh, Theta or Ada. Ada has uh, pretty much dissipated. Not even going to look at that. We are going to look at Iota. Um, let's wait for this to load. And while I, while we wait for that to load, I'm going to pull up some other satellite imagery. Um, and so this is uh, what satellite imagery looks like over us. You can see we've cleared out. Um, so let's go and take a look at the Caribbean, though, because that's where we are. That's where we are looking at the tropical Atlantic. So let's look at the whole thing here. Get the whole view here for you. Wish the resolution was better on this, but you can see here is Iota right here. All right, that's Iota. Uh, if we go look at the Conus or the U.S. East Coast, let's just look at that for a minute. Let's just look at the East Coast so you get an idea of what uh, what's left at Ada. You can't even see it. It's dissipated completely. Uh, but anyway, here is Iota, so it should have loaded now. You can see clearly this thing is ex undergoing some explosive convection and explosive strengthening. And conditions are favorable, so you know what we're going to be dealing with. Another major hurricane um, in, the, uh, in the area here. Um, and if you look at the tracks for Theta, I'm not even going to pull them up you can see that the kind of some of them are crazy it looks like they take uh, it uh, remnants whatever once it gets towards Spain it'll be remnants but said so we're looking at iota here so let's uh, here we go again with this malfunctioning let's try this again I don't know why it does this I try to get the mo model for iota but it won't it won't do it all right we're just gonna go to this I don't know what's going on Either it's my computer or the Tropical Tidbit site. I'm not sure. It's most likely my computer. What is going on here? Most likely my computer. <laughs> See how it's doing that? What, what is it doing? Stop it. It won't even let me click out. 
All right, so uh, let's go to the re... <laughs> I'm telling you, this is my computer just being my computer. Let's look at the North American upper air view. Hopefully that gets rid of that. Okay. Uh, so you get an idea of what's going to be happening at the upper air again. You can see we have this trough coming in. So cooler air. Uh, and there is iota. And you can see it rapidly strengthening right there. Um, so you can see uh, we're going to have a surge of warm air on Sunday. A strong cold front moves through. And then the first in a series of cold fronts moves through on. And then we get into some really cold air. Uh, but then it moderates again. And then after that, it looks like a pretty a moderate pattern until we get toward the end of the month where it's digging another trough in. So we will have, you know, mild spells. But then in between those mild spells, we're going to have cold weather. All right. Um, so let's go take a look at the... Um, let's change the regions here because we want to take a look at what's going to be happening with IOTA. Um looking for Central America here. Let's see if they have one for Central America. Tropics, okay, let's see. Wish they'd have one for Central America. They don't really have, I have North Tropical Atlantic, North Atlantic, Western Atlantic. We'll have to use the Western Atlantic one. I think that's gonna be the best bet. So we can take a look and see what's gonna be happening with, uh, with IOTA. And this is the GFS uh, that we are looking at here. So. As you can see, look at that thing. It's just rapidly, t uh, probably Sunday, it's going to start rapidly, explosively strengthening and then making a landfall in Central America. And then look at this. There's another low over here behind it. This, uh, this could be another tropical system right here. Oh, man, this is crazy. This is crazy. So we're going to look a little bit at the wind field. Oh, we don't have that. Yeah, we're uh, 10. I'm just going to look at this for a little bit. So you get an idea. Look at that. It's just going to explode. This is probably going to become a Category 3, maybe a Category 4, uh, as it makes landfall. This is just devastating. This is just horrible. Uh, anyway, let's go to the Kona's view. We're going to go ahead and look at the surface for the rest of the country here. And we'll be talking more about IOTA in Sunday's weather update. So... As far as our weather goes, it uh, should be a fair day tomorrow. We've got the high pressure over us, but you can see cold front moves through uh, uh, on Sunday. And then we, uh, you can see the series of cold fronts that are going to come through. And that flow coming right out of Canada right there. So if you look at that, you'll see, again, that flow is coming right out. So it's going to be some really cold air on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to struggle to reach 40 with uh, such a cold air mass in place. And you can see that high move. It pro high is pretty much going to keep us dry for most of the week. Um, so, taking a closer look at our area, looking at the temperatures. Um, we're going to first start off looking at the temperatures, and then we're going to look at our next chance of precipitation. So, as far as tomorrow goes, uh, we're going to be seasonal. Highs in the low 50s. It's about where we're supposed to be. Lows at night in the mid 30s. Uh, but you'll see we warm up Sunday. You can see that shot of warm air that's going to come up ahead of that cold front up near 60 degrees. And you can see it's going to be a strong cold front when it moves through. You can see that. And then uh, by Monday, we start dropping. Uh, low 50s. And a series of cold fronts come through. It's a little colder on Tuesday, maybe up uh, upper 40s for highs. And then on Wednesday, we struggle to reach the 40-degree mark, I believe. Uh, and, and same thing for Thursday. It's going to be pretty chilly. But then... It starts moderating again once you get toward Friday. Um, so let's go take a look at the at the uh, NAM model here. I'm going to use this to look at the dew points because this will. Well, let's use the 18Z because this will show up. What's cause this is going to kind of show you what, why we're going to be getting more rain again. Originally, we didn't think we were going to see that much rain, uh, but this is because uh, more moisture is coming up into our area on Sunday, so we will. So low humidity for the night and tomorrow you'll see that low humidity. All right, remember I said, oh, humidity won't be an issue. Well, it will be, because as we head into Sunday, you'll see this shot of really humid air, and this very strong LLJ that's going to come in right here. I'll get my drawing thing on again. Uh, this LLJ is just going to come right up from the tropics and bring in uh, the moisture for more heavy rain over our area uh, for uh, Sunday night. Uh, Sunday, well, Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Uh, you'll see very strong southerly winds, too, uh, with that. 
and then uh, this pushes offshore and then we uh, dry out again but because of that if we go ahead and we look at the precipitation here on this you will see here that there's going to be a cold front a very strong cold front that's going to wind up moving through and bring us some heavy rain um, and you can see that right there uh, it could even be a thunderstorm with that perhaps and it's going to move through unfortunately right in the late afternoon to evening which means usually the time I go out so don't often we don't make it out again another freaking rainy day uh, upon us there um, I'll only look at the HRRR as well um, I don't know if this is going to go far enough out I don't think it goes far enough out but I'll see let's see what we got it's only going to go out that far that is not far enough so um, generally it will go to the NAM 3 kilometer let's see how this looks so this is the NAM 3 kilometer you can see some of those yellows and reds too uh, so again, this it looks like a, a line of thunderstorms could actually wind up moving through, uh, and uh, that is a possibility for Sunday. Um, and again, having another squall line of thunderstorms, uh, very unusual. But you can see that's what the, it is showing up on the models. It'll be very interesting to see what the H triple R does. But again, with such high humidity and uh, a, a very dry, cool air behind it, it's going to cause a lot of lift and a lot of lift mechanisms. Uh, so uh, we'll have a better idea tomorrow about this with, when, more, when I have more models to work with. Uh, but let's go take a look at the skies at least. So we'll start off with that and get an idea of how our skies are going to be. Uh, here is tomorrow. So we may start off with a little maybe fog in some areas perhaps. Um, it should be a mostly sunny day, plenty of sun. Uh, and then uh, for Sunday the clouds kind of roll in on us and then as we head into Monday, you'll see we clear out again, and Monday should be another mostly sunny day. We'll look at the GFS too. Similar idea. So, uh, there you go. Uh, tomorrow should be a very nice day. Plenty of clear skies, uh, but then we get the clouds, and then Monday, and then we get into that uh, cold pattern Tuesday. It might be some instability clouding us, uh, but there should be a good deal of sunshine. And it looks at this. This has this uh, lake effect signature right there, so we may get to see some lake effect upstate from that as well so it's gonna be a tumultuous uh, next five to seven days a little up a little down uh, and that strong cold front that's our main concern that's our main next weather event in our area that we're gonna be dealing with and that is gonna be on Sunday so take care have a good night and we'll have a better idea tomorrow night as to how Sunday is gonna turn out but there's the possibility of some thunderstorms in November it's 2020 <laughs> that's what it is take care and have a good night